Okay, I'm making this recording because I think my tutorial um, written out was too confusing. So, um, so I'm going to show you how to post the dogs for the shelter. Um, what I did first, what I I am going to email you this has all the websites that you need. Um, once you have them, you should just bookmark them. Um, and then it's much easier for you to just open it at a reasonable time. Um, so I use Chrome. Then as you can see, I have it here. I have it. This is the advocate list. And this is the list that shows you uh, what animals need to be posted onto Petfinder. So you have to make sure that you go to the bottom and select Downey because we're not posting for Baldwin Park. So it's right here. And this will have the names of the dogs and the impound number, which is really important because that's how you can identify them on um, when you call the shelter. And this is the names of the, the description of the dogs and whether or not they're posted or not. So what, the do what does a dog look like? So that's when you open the next one, and that would be the networking list. Um, and that one's here. This one has the names of all the pets. And the only thing with this one, you you has all the descriptions, but the dog dog's picture is not big enough. You need one that is larger. But so, for example, so you're supposed to be posting trusty. You don't know what trusty looks like. I just look up, look him up, and then you can see that's his name, or that's what he looks like, and that's when you use the Facebook page. And you will be able to look for him since you recognize him from the networking list. So I hope that makes sense for you. It's just the networking list helps you find the dog. So he's right here. Once you have this open, you should save his picture wherever you want. It will probably be on your desktop or um, wherever you want to to do and afterwards you can delete the photo but it should have a high resolution copy of the photo. Here's the description and maybe this is a part that seems a bit confusing over here. Let's go back. They have all the names of the advocates here. So these are the people that are in charge of the dogs whenever um, they keep track of the dogs at the shelter and the people who want are interested in the dogs can call this person so, for example, Tara, she would be in charge of these dogs, trustees under hers. That's when I had given you a text document, and it was kind of labeled like this, with all these, like, Baldwin Park, and then we're just focusing on Downey. So here would be Tara's, and that's where I would open it up. And I would sort of put this on the side here so I can use it. The reason why I have this is because when you post it, there's all this information about the shelter and stuff on the top that I personally would not want to copy again and retype every single time. So it's just on top already formatted with the advocate's number, her phone number and email address, so you also don't have to type that in every single time. So here, now I'm going to open up Pet Finder. This this will be on that email, but I just it was just easier for me to have it like that. And I you have to log in. I have the login passwords already for you um, that you would just enter. It. And once you log in, you can always have it saved. It's the same here. Shelter login, and it's under uh, this person's email address. So. Uh, once you get to this one, Pet Finder is the one that's a little bit more annoying. It's kind of slow, but once you get to this screen, you want to go to Add Animal. And as well, I would, while it's loading to the forever, I also just add a pet, add a dog. So let's go back to what I'm talking about. So here's here, and then we're going to go to Trustees. We have Trustees information is right here, and then every dog has a video as well. So what I do is I highlight this description and I just copy it, like Command-C, and I go down here. So 
the spot you're supposed to do is just insert the description here and I paste it. Um, once I have this number here, I highlight it as well and I, I cut it and paste the, the number here. That's really important, that, that number. So once you're here, you know, you would just go down for pet finder. It's down here. You put the animal ID and then you'd have to change it to the advocate that you're responsible for, Gutera. And I've, in the beginning, it did take me a while, but you know, you just kind of have to look over and read it, what it says. So it would be like trusty. Oh, I'm sorry. So then since I already have that number here copied, I just kind of head over here too. And then I paste it here too. So you can start wherever you want. So I, you can just come back here and then um, select animal type. And you kind of have to wait because pet, pet finder is doing all this stuff. And then um, then you can select if he, you would accept, you would put adoptable. And then I'm coming down. So I'm reading over here, like we see that he's um, a chihuahua. Um, oh, but one of the things is that you kind of have to check here and double check to see what it is. Sometimes the description here doesn't completely match this one. A lot of times, like the people will write terrier, a very general description. But as you see over here, um, someone goes through these and double checks to make sure that, like they'll they'll kind of be more descriptive about it, and they'll say actually it's a Lakeland terrier, not just terrier. So if they're different, you should go with what's on this assignment. Um, so anyways, going back. This one's a Chihuahua, so I'm just going to put Chihuahua, and then the color is uh, just brown and tan, so I'm going to put just brown and yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, and then the gender is a male, and size is usually as small as a Chihuahua, and then age is one year. So for the age, I will give you a list too. It's usually less than eight, less than eight months is a puppy, and then eight months until like one year and a half is young. Adult is two through eight, and then above that it's senior. Um, okay, so so if you look here, I just it will always be spayed and vaccinated because they're from the shelter. Sometimes they'll be house trained, but it doesn't say that he is, so I just leave it plain. And here I have to add the photo. See, so it kind of takes a while. So then you go add a file, and um, I saved it in my downloads folder, but I don't know where you would save it. Then I think it's this guy. To so select him, and then I upload him. It'll, it'll just take a little bit. Sometimes it takes a long time depending on, I don't know, your internet speed or the time of day. It's a little bit um, temperamental sometimes, so and then times it's fast, sometimes it's quick, or very slow. So, okay, now the other part is the video. So this is the part you need to embed the video. I go back here, and there's the video right here. So I just right-click it, I'm going to copy it, then I have to come here. I have to put it twice so that there's a link. And um, it's like that, twice. Then here, go back. I paste it there, and I'll go back here and put it in this part. And I'll come back to this part later. Um, so I, the way that it is formatted, sometimes it just, it's just kind of annoying. This was the best way that I did it, but if you figure out a different way, that's fine. Um, that's why it has all these tags and stuff because it's HTML tags. It makes it more consistent once you paste it. So what I do is I come over here, I highlight the entire thing, um, Command A, and then I copy it. Then go down to here. It has an HTML button, and you will just highlight the whole thing. And because you don't want this, this is messed up. Then you just either delete it or you could just immediately paste it, and then it's it's set. It's good, so you just push update here. So if you look, it's like very, um, it doesn't have like different fonts and weird stuff. Because if you copy directly onto it, sometimes it looks bad. 
But anyways, so just, it's ready. If you look at it, it's like formatted correctly. And you can, what you do from here is I don't want you to add the animal yet. Highlight the entire thing from here and copy it. Go to adopt a pet and then you paste that one here. So this one, um, if you would paste what was here onto here, you would see all these tags and it looks kind of bad. So that's what I prefer you not to do. <laughs> so I kind of remember from, um, you know, what I wrote in Pet Finder already. So usually this part's like pretty fast and chihuahua. Um, Nine and ten. I think this website is better. Oops. So brown with ten. So you don't have to do select two. And um, a lot of times the dogs will be good with uh, with kids. Um, see, like it says for everyone. So I I usually select yes. I think a lot of times if they're bigger dogs, they might not have this kids part. But a lot of times they do. Um, and then with other dogs, see it gets along with other dogs. And these two should always be selected. Don't choose this one. Um, usually if it needs an experienced adopter, they won't have us upload them. So house train, he didn't say, so I won't put it and then choose a file. Once again, I select through here and then he's there. And that's, then I just add him. And then while that one's adding, then I go back to pet finder and then I'll add him too. And um, once the circle, so it's done. So if you're done, you can just close it, or, but generally you'd be adding more, you go here. And you would start to add another one. Already here, it's already done, so you'd load it much faster. And that's it. Um, you can, if you guys think, figure out a better way to add them, that's, you know, I'm, that's totally cool, it doesn't matter. I think just in the beginning it was a little bit confusing because there's all these things, but that's what they're for, like, just to explain to you guys, so. Anyways, if you have other questions, email me, um, but that should be the general gist of posting. And thank you for um, helping out posting. I think it makes a big difference for um, these pets to get adopted. All right? Thank you.